Well guys, the footage in these past videos that you've been seeing is honestly three to two, no, probably like two weeks old to be honest. Um, when I took that little break, I was still filming, still making these videos. So even today's video that you're about to watch, I filmed probably a week and a half ago. And I still have about maybe four or five crazy videos. Like today I find dope shit, tomorrow I find dope stuff, the next day I find dope stuff. Honestly, we're finding such good things. Uh, today I left with three uh, vintage jerseys. Um, about seven different hoodies, a uh, vintage Nike Dallas Cowboys jacket. You guys will probably see those finds maybe like four videos from now. Like I said, I am backed up on videos. I'm still currently trying to finish the apartment organizing um, and just, you know, doing stuff. I have a lot of stuff. I don't want to show you guys the walls because I painted it black. As you see, I'm still finishing like this, for example. I have to finish and paint all this. I have to finish paint all this, but it's just a sneak preview. But, um... I am currently in the process of trying to organize my inventory room. I've recently put this in here and um, I started folding shirts. These are all unlisted t-shirts, guys. This is all unlisted t-shirts. This is all unlisted t-shirts. And this is all listed jackets. It's absurd. It's obscene. It's a problem and it needs to be fixed. But I just wanted to come on and uh, let you guys know that I am trying to get back into the swing of things. I am trying to upload every single day again, 8 p.m. Also, my website, I haven't uploaded in over a month, like new inventory, I haven't uploaded in over a month just with this moving and, and just everything going on. I haven't had time to list anything, which is kind of sad because obviously I haven't been making money. Uh, granted, things have been selling. Uh, yesterday or the day before I just sold a t-shirt for $165 so stuff is flying stuff is selling somebody actually just asked I'll show you guys anyways you guys are gonna see it eventually but someone just asked about the Blazers Pippin jersey I found this today I paid $1.75 for it size XL perfect condition uh, he's offered $80 so far I, I really want to get a hundred for it um, I've see sold comps for about 140 150 but a dollar 75 already in eighty dollars so We'll see if that sells. Oh, I don't want to show the walls. You guys can see a little sneak peek. But uh, yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I do find a crazy find. Uh, if you are interested in anything you guys see in the past couple videos, as well as the next couple videos, send me an Instagram DM at DITR954. Definitely take care of you. Uh, but just give me about another week or two so I can finally get stuff listed onto the website and, you know, get back into the swing of these. I'm trying to get back into the swing of daily videos, posting at 8 p.m. Trying to do daily uploads, like uh, inventory uploads at 8 p.m. as well. So, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. I'll catch up with you guys tomorrow on the next one. And let's get it, guys. And I didn't even show you guys all of this stuff. So, this bin is a bulk sale I'm trying to sell. And then this is just individual stuff that I need to list. So... So many items. All right, so a couple finds for today. We have this old school Marlins big logo. Nothing on the back. We have this really small, probably gonna leave it though, kids uh, polo Roth in little polo spell out. Especially because it's $4.99. We'll put that bag, leave it for somebody else. Nike Florida, the little Florida spell out. Then on the back, home of the Marlins. This I've found interesting, I have to look it up, but we have Todd James Puma, Todd James Puma little collab, crew neck, nice little Nike with the just do it going down the sleeve, Nike hoodie, we have the old school polo jeans, probably leave this, I thought it was in better condition. Found two of these big dog shirts. I don't know if I'm gonna grab them or not. If you can run with the big dog, stay off the court. It's tag 19.99. This one I don't see a date on it. it. Just says bad dog. Actually, it might be 19.99 also. Found this NFL. And then the find of today, guys. Look at this vintage guest jeans. It's my first time finding one of these in the wild. Nice little embroidered. Perfect colorway, so sick. And then I found these kids Jordans. And then these two like leather bags, really interesting, like saddle full leather bags. I can't believe we finally found a vintage guest stripe jean shirt. Again, 
I don't think I've ever found a vintage one in the wild ever before. We ended up paying a dollar for it. It was $1.99, today's half off. That colorway is amazing. Unfortunately, it is tagged to medium, which is good for you guys because everyone's always like, yo, put medium, put medium. So I'm sure it'll sell instantly, but I wish it was an XL so I can actually wear it a couple times, but I, I won't fit into it. It looks, maybe I'll fit into it, but it'll just be too small to the point where there's no point. But uh, yeah, that was kind of crazy. Look, this guy's wearing a Wu-Tang shirt walking down the street. Let's see if you can see it. I wonder if it's new age or not. Look at Wu-Tang. But uh, we're headed to the next thrift store. Hopefully we hit good. I'll let him go first. And uh, you know, keep his, keep his good day going. A few more t-shirts. We found this double-sided woman on like a bike. Pretty cool, just cause it's double-sided. And then I gotta look this up. I don't know what this is, but I just like the graphic. This girl all over. We found this brand new with the tags, Carl Kanai shirt. Has a little emblem with this patch on it still. Thought this was funny, but I don't know. Probably gonna leave that, and then probably gonna leave that too. All right, so some finds of today. We have this Scotch and Storch holiday shirt. It's like silk, super, super soft. I don't know if it's women's or men's. I'm gonna have to look it up, see if there's any more info on it. We found this All Saints little flannel. You found anything? Yeah, the best piece in the women's section. <laughs> Brand new with the tags. This is what I live for. Found this Koto Paxi, which is um, a backpack brand. This little packable windbreaker. Budweiser all over print shirt. John Mayer, 2002, tour long sleeve. Vineyard Vines long sleeve. Pair of D squared shorts. And then the find of today, brand new with the tag, size medium. Vintage starter, Charlotte Hornets. NBA jacket so sick Well, it just shows you you always got to check the women's section because I only had three items I looked in the women's section then we found that brand new starter jacket that brand new starter jacket's a hundred dollar piece all day The fact that it's brand new with the tags so you know It just shows that one rack or one little thing that you forget to look and it could be a hundred dollar bill Just chilling in the chilling in the woods, but I'm but I'm currently about to pull up to uh, Costco to get some food. I'm gonna get some a full haul. Uh, with me moving into the apartment, I haven't really done a full grocery haul. I went to Publix and got a few things, but I didn't really go to Costco and did a, a full on haul. So we are gonna be going to Costco, gonna get a ton of stuff. Gonna get shrimp, meat, uh, salmon, tuna, just a bunch of stuff. So I'm gonna quickly go here. I might show you guys what I get, might not. Uh, then we'll head to the apartment and see how Captain's doing. I haven't showed you guys Captain in a while. These footage have literally been all over the place. I'll like go to the thrift store in the morning, I'll film, and then I won't film the rest of the day just because I'm either painting still, I'm organizing inventory, or just moving stuff from the storage unit to Miami. So it's just a big mess. But uh, let's quickly hit up Costco, get a few things, and uh, enjoy our day, guys. We found, I'm pretty sure these are women's, but I feel like they're just so sick with the multicolored with the dragon. They are wide leg also, but for $2.50, I feel like I can't pass that up. We found this Basquiat collab with Reebok. I'm gonna have to look it up, see if it's worth anything. Then we found this 2003 Perfect Fade World Series Marlin shirt on a nice pro weight Delta. South Park. It is a newer age. It's from 2000, uh, what is it, 18? This Adidas jacket, I just love the colorway of it. I feel like it's so sick. With like the multicolored contrast, a little pocket on the hit, and $350, it's half off, so it's only $1.75. Let's see, what hoodie is this? So I only got this because it's a nice embroidered swoosh on there. It does say American 28. I'm gonna see if I can maybe take that out, but it's not that bad anyways. Just that swoosh is so nice. Nothing on the back. This is gonna be personal. You guys know how I like my guns, so I'll probably just keep this little gun shirt. Even though it does say a medium, it looks like it'll fit a little bit bigger. What brand is it? 89, never heard of it. This is gonna be personal. We have this perfectly faded Fat Farm little distressed hole in the front. 
women's Kodak film, little crop jacket, vintage logo seven, Miami Hurricanes, little Miami Hurricanes hit right there. And I don't know if this is real, I've never seen this polo tag, it's probably fake, but we have this nice varsity polo Ralph Lauren uh, jacket. Couple more finds. I don't know if this is the actual King of the Hill, like the show, but we have this vintage King of the Hill shirt. We have this Uniqlo cause little pocket tee. I dropped a long sleeve Burberry, the little hit right there, a little embroidered right there. What else do we got here? Then we do have this. Uh, Promethine coating cough syrup. I think I might leave this though because it's uh, stained up like crazy. Yeah, maybe I'll get it. It's kind of cool. A few finds for today. Probably gonna end up leaving this, but we have the women's champion little crop top. Found two Lacoste long sleeve polos, both colorways. 2003 Marlins champions. This I'll probably just put back to Zara men's jacket. Didn't find a little nice Marlboro pocket tee. Little hit on the back, Marlboro Unlimited. And then Macto tools. I just like the design, but probably gonna put that back too. A couple more finds. Yeah, the old school Fubu. I just love the colors on this. The multicolored. Then on the back, huge embroidery. Did find this 2XL All Saints jacket. And then vintage Tommy Hilfiger, little denim button down, but it has like the Tommy Hilfiger ribbon going down the bottom. Huge shout out that everyone is placing orders. All the orders are going out right now. We have about 15 orders from the past 24 hours going out. Halloween Horror Nights 2012 Silent Hill shirt. This shirt I thought was vintage, but it's just crazy distressed. Michael Jackson, 1958-2009, sadly single-sided. Have this Lincoln Park. I have to look this up, but it says hiccups. And at the bottom, feature for me to you forever production. Keep them coming. Put that to the side. Old school Florida Panthers. ACDC 2009 tour shirt. Women's Planet Hollywood Miami embroidered jacket. Super sick camo pants, uh, Polo Ralph Lauren bathing suit, really nice. I think I'm going to keep these for myself. We have Nike ACG little cargo shorts. They might be too big though. They're size large. I'll probably need a medium. We've thrifted this before in the red colorway. Now we have the navy one. He'll figure spell out. Vintage tags.